Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review for the Rabbit TV. Now I had a lot of requests for people to do this review. Um, of course they're running ads for it all the time on TV, so a lot of people are aware of it. I'm a little bit torn on exactly how to rate this product. Um, basically I had three requirements. I wanted to watch a few old television shows that I really liked that I haven't been able to find anywhere for years. So those were Barney Miller, WKRP, and Hill Street Blues. And so I figured if I got this for $10 and I could get those three shows running, then that would be pretty good. And I was able to do that no problem. I actually downloaded this thing in about five minutes. I think I've got a little clip of me getting it downloaded and using the drivers on it. So here I'll show you a quick clip of that. A lot of people felt like it's not a very good value because it really doesn't, it's not as if this thing is a satellite dish that's bringing in television stations. Basically what it does is it creates a navigation bar for a bunch of websites that it organizes, um, places like Hulu and other places that have television shows. It also organizes your radio stations and your places, websites that have free movies and things. And so it's it's not exactly what a lot of people expect when they get it. Personally, it didn't matter that much to me because it did organize the shows I wanted to see and made it easy for me to go right on my you know, desktop, click on the Rabbit TV icon and go ahead and watch the shows. But a lot of people will tell you you could have got those shows anyways, which is true. You could have just gone to those individual websites and watched the shows. So if you're willing to put in a little bit of effort and just go out and search the television shows, if I had searched Barney Miller, I might have found Hulu down there. But I might have found some other sites too that I would have had to click in or click back from, maybe get a virus, who knows. So it's really going to have to be your determination. If you've got a mother or a grandparent who wants to get this, I've heard some people saying that their parents were bugging them, it might be a good thing for them because what are the odds are ever going to go out there and search the internet and be able to find anything. So this would make it real simple for them to organize television shows or whatever they want to watch. But at the same time, like I said, if you're at all ambitious, a young person who's familiar with the internet, you could probably get all these pretty quick and have them right up in your favorites bar or something, you know, and save them there. It's $10. Don't order it through the phone. Don't get it off the phone number where they're going to try to make you sign up for like multiple years of service or something. That's total BS. You don't have to do that. You can just get this for $10 outright. I'll put a link under this video where you can buy it online if you want. But that's all you'd have to pay. Now it says one year of free service. So who knows, maybe in a year they're going to try and make you pay another 10 bucks or something. For me, I don't really care. 10 bucks for a year comes out to 80 cents a month, which comes out to just less than 3 cents a day. So for 3 pennies a day, it's worth it to be able to go on there and watch my episodes of Barney Miller or whatever. But at the same time, just know what you're getting and it's not going to be original content you know there's nothing that's owned by rabbit tv that they're putting out they're just simply linking you to sites where you can watch the shows or the movies or listen to the radio stations so if that's what you want an easy simple navigation system then this is probably good for you if you don't want to put out 10 bucks then like i said you could probably go out and find most of that stuff yourself anyway so that's i'm going to leave it open-ended um, i think this one's really relative to what you want i'm fine with it i didn't have any problem with what i've got for 10 bucks but like i said a lot of people are probably going to say i could have found it anyways and that may be true but i'm busy so that's the rabbit tv that's what it do get it if you want it don't if you don't catch you on the next review